Hello, welcome to Movie Musters we present to you. 911 Episode 12 of Season 6 Bobby learned the truth, did he not? He took drastic steps to demonstrate that his AA sponsor was murdered in 911 Season 6 Episode 12. Buck, meantime, battled his post-traumatic stress disorder as a result of what had transpired following his lightning strike. All daily. Adhere to him on Twitter. Review of 911 Season 6 Episode 12, Recovery. Bobby has no intention of giving up on Wendall. In 911 Season 6 Episode 12, Bobby owed Wendall so much, even in death, and he'd be damned if he didn't do all in his power to bring those responsible for Wendall's suffering to justice. And through a series of flashbacks, we learned exactly what occurred to Wendall on the day he passed away as well as how their friendship developed. Community and understanding are the foundations of the relationship between the sponsor and sponsee. In order to be guided and supported through all of the challenges, a sponsory must have faith that they have their best interests in mind. Aspects of recovery, especially early recovery. That therapeutic relationship is so meaningful as life continues each day, and you face the battle of addiction head-on. We never got to know Wendall beyond the little time we spent with him, but we could glean that he was a good person and beloved by the Grant Nash household. The flashbacks do a lot to shade in who Wendall was and what he meant to Bobby, and he meant everything. Taking us back to 911 Season 1 reminds me of how different the series was back then. And I'd almost forgotten about Bobby's breakdown and how the 118 rallied around him in a rather dark time. Bobby has always been a man of action, never content to sit back and take the bus. It is the reason he is such a successful captain, as well as a fantastic husband and friend. He enters the situation and completes tasks that others might find difficult. He is self-conscious and stubborn when he first meets Wendall. By going to a meeting and hearing other people's recovery experiences, he is making progress in his recovery. Some people may find it difficult to even enter that room. Thus doing so, sitting down, and paying attention should be commended. When Wendell notices Bobby, he breaks through his defenses right away. Bobby permits him, too. Bobby eventually releases the tension in his shoulders and begins to establish a new community within a short period of time for himself and it's lovely to get a stronger sense of that connection as we observe how Bobby in the present spends a lot of time seeking the truth. Even though she acknowledged Bobby's motivations, it was clear during 911 Season 6 Episode 1 that Athena was growing concerned about his steadfastness and in looking into Wendall's death. She will never stop worrying about the man she loves and making sure he is safeguarding himself. The fact that Bobby and Athena respect one another and will always collaborate has, nevertheless, been one of the best things about their partnership. Bobby wasn't prepared to stop searching even after Wendall's case had been resolved and appeared to be ended, and Athena didn't leave him there to do it on his own. She moved into the investigation along with him. You must let go of this if you don't want to become like Wendall. To Bobby, Tamara. Tamara was the beginning and the end of everything. Understanding what transpired required May to make the connection between her and Wendall being at winding path at the same time. With good reason, Tamara was visibly afraid of Carrie and Trey. To keep people at the facility and money coming into their pockets, those two sociopaths wouldn't hesitate to do anything. Bobby took a chance by contacting Tamara, and she gave him exactly the right amount of details to support his long-held opinion that the homicidal pair relocated Wendall's body from Winding Path. When Bobby received that call from Tamara, I had a strong sense that things weren't as what I believed the overall strategy was. Carrie and Trey were horrible persons who preyed on those who were really vulnerable in order to take advantage of them and their money. They used an illness to make money. They were more concerned with keeping them in debt to them and getting them as repeat customers than they were with helping individuals become sober. Wendell's frustration with what was occurring at Winding Path was understandable, and his choice to enter into the institution and attempt to expose them stems from a genuine desire to carry out the appropriate action. Wendell was a nice man, and although Tamara would feel terrible about involving him, it was clear that he would have done it again even if he knew the result because he believed it was the right thing to do. He died needlessly as a result of Carrie's extreme callousness and contempt for human life. Bobby's resolve on never giving up may have prevented the public from learning the truth about what Carrie and Trey were up to when Wendell died defending Tamara. Wendall accomplished his initial goal, which was likely to save a great number of lives. It was such a lovely full-circle moment to see Bobby follow Wendall's lead and use his experiences to support someone else. Bobby is also a decent human being, an excellent mentor, and an important support system. I adore seeing him intervene and offer the helping hand that someone might not even be aware they need. While it was good to see Buck back at the loft relaxing, it didn't take long to discover he wasn't handling things as well as he pretended. 
The other portion of this hour dealt with the fallout from Buck's accident. To make sure Buck was taking care of himself and not attempting to overdo it, Maddie was certainly in her big sister bag. Everyone wants Buck to be okay, and coming off a near-death experience is a very life-altering traumatic event, and it's okay not to be okay that he recently experienced this random, one-in-a-million incident and is aware that anything can happen at any time makes a lot of sense, simply because it did. Sometimes, 911 tends to skip over this part of the story. On this show, we've seen a lot of individuals go through incredibly horrible experiences, and then life moves on. The next time we see them, there could be a passing remark. The performance keeps on, quite literally. The most prevalent elements of Buck's trip this year, which have focused on his desire to find happiness and choose what he wants for the future, are played into by digging deeper into Buck's fears and having him articulate his doubts. This is a nice shift. Eddie is Buck's person in so many ways that I regretted his absence in 911 Season 6 Episode 11 and it seemed strange not to see him in a scene meant to convey the sense that Buck's life was genuinely hanging in the balance. However, they make up for it by finally talking to us about Eddie's shooting and the complex emotions that surrounded it. Eddie, so, may I now inquire as to how you are? Honestly, Eddie, I have no idea. Eddie, Buck, you passed on. You'll likely experience a range of emotions in response to that. Occasionally, all at once. Allowing yourself to feel it is, in my experience, the greatest way to handle it. Buck, but ultimately you do, right. You take it in. Eddie, every day when you first wake up and open your eyes, the world still surprises you a little bit. Eddie is the one who, if anyone, can relate to how Buck might be feeling. And I appreciate that when it comes to Eddie, Buck doesn't pretend everything is alright when in reality it isn't. When he is with him, he is free to always be Buck without apology. Angry, obstinate, pleased, and cheerful. When he sits down to speak with his individual, there is no concern for criticism. And while Buck doesn't necessarily seem to be unwell, it is clear that he is also not feeling well. It's also acceptable to not know how you feel and to have doubts of what you want to do next. Even though it can seem like you need a response, everything is okay. Feeling your emotions is crucial and legitimate. Try not to flee from them. Instead, feel them, sit with them, and explore them, even though it's easier said than done. The conversation with Eddie at least puts him on the right track to have a thorough discussion regarding post-near-death existence with his doctor. Again, Buck seems to be in a condition of limbo, unsure of what he wants to do or even how he feels about what transpired. Is he upset? Is he depressed? Figuring out this new stage of life is undoubtedly sitting down with Maddie and being truthful with her. Whatever Buck is dealing with, he has a reliable support system of people who would always reach out for him. Unrelated items. Buck tried to take a nap on the couch Margaret had purchased him, but he was never quite able to find the time. Visitors and distractions were plenty, but as soon as he stepped inside Eddie's home, he fell asleep on his couch. Eddie and Buck's couch, always in time. Use that information however you see fit. It was quite unsettling to see Carrie and Trey get away with murdering people, changing their names, and opening new rehabs. The Grant Nash family continues to be the cutest, despite the fact that May was not around to see the inquiry through to completion. It took the three of them to solve the case. Wendell's attempts to comprehend why Bobby was moving with Athena so quickly were amusing to see. However, he wasn't mistaken in his worries at the time. He simply hadn't yet noticed the affection, steadfast support, and ways in which they in- I love you. My brain doesn't know how to process the fact that this season has only six episodes left. 911 It's terrible to think that season six is coming to a close after so many excellent episodes. Citing chapter concluded the investigation into Wendell's death and dealt with Buck's recovery. Please share your ideas about the tales in the comments, I'd love to know them. Exclusive 911 video, Bobby seeks solutions. Bobby finds a familiar flower store and a familiar person as he pursues justice. It became obvious that Tamara knew more than she was telling when May realized that Tamara and Wendall were both at winding path at the same time. Although she wasn't prepared to speak with May, Bobby was still going to give it a shot. It's the meeting of Bobby and Tamara and Bobby's plea to her, which elicits an unexpected response. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.